to be showing you how to uh, bleh, bleh. hey everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I recreated Taylor Swift's Grammys 2016 makeup I was really inspired by it probably because I had the lip color I wanted to use sitting in front of me on my desk and I was like that's it that's what I'm gonna use and it looked just like it so I also wanted to kind of jump out of my comfort zone. I don't really listen to Taylor Swift's music, nor do I ever dress like Taylor Swift, or I'm basically the farthest thing from Taylor Swift. So I wanted to do something different and kind of cater to all of you guys out there. And this look came out really pretty and really cute. So if you want to learn how I got it, then please keep watching. To start out this look, I'm going to be priming my eyes with my Max Payne Pot and laying low. I want to prime my eyes really good so that this stays on all throughout the Grammys. Once I prime my eyes real good, I'm going to take this little orangey color right here from my Morphe 35B palette. Can you see that? Okay. And I just want to focus this in the crease of my eye. I want this to come off really light. I'm then going to take some of my MAC Soft Brown. You guys know I love this color. If you don't ever see me use this color, then you're missing out because I use this color a lot. So I'm just going to blend this into the crease as well as the outside corner of my eye. In all the pictures that I was looking at of Taylor Swift, her eyes are really, really simple. Kind of to make room for that bold red lip. The very inner corners of her eyes were very like glittery and very like yellowy goldish color. So I'm going to take some of this cream shadow from MAC. It's called Cushy Life. And I'm just going to put this in the center. Or not the center, that was the inner corner. And then from the Naked 3 palette, this is like the rose colored one. I'm going to take the color Burnout and place that in the center on top of Cushy Life. And then for underneath my eyes, it's almost like a shimmery pink color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this blushish shadow, blushy shadow, I think it's a shadow, from Stelazi, this is PS31, and I'm gonna mix that with the um, Nooner color from this one right here, from the Naked 3 palette. And then I'm just going to take some up here too, just to kind of get everything to come together. Cool, cool, cool beans, cool beans. So she doesn't really have any winged liner, just kind of like a black line and um, very wispy-ish lashes. So I'm going to use my Wispies lashes from Ardell, I believe, or they're the 113 lashes. I don't know. They're cute. They're cute. I like them. And then I'm just going to line the top of my eye, so. Searching for higher ground. Can't see in front of me. My enemies have tried every possibility. Ability to know if I can bleed. So after I've applied my lashes, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. In the pictures, it looks like she's really not wearing anything heavy. But um, me, I like to go big or go home. So I'm just going to do my regular foundation routine. And then I will show you guys what um, blush and bronzer and highlight I'm using to mimic Taylor Swift's look. I can fly. Before her face
face really isn't full coverage. It's very light coverage. It almost looks like it's like a water type foundation or just a powder on her face. So I'm going to go really light on the bronzer. I'm using my Wet n Wild bronzer and blush, everything under the sun. I'm really only going to focus on using the bronzer in here. For blush and highlight, I'm using my Cargo Blush in Los Cabos. This is what it looks like. It's a very orangey pink blush. Blush, blush, blush. And then I'm using my Max Skin Finish in um, Soft and Gentle as my highlight. So while my alarm goes off in the other room, I'm also going to take some of the Soft and Gentle to my brow bone and the inner corners. Gotta get that Cupid's bow too. And then, of course, to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to put any mascara. This is my Hello Lash Extensions Mascara from IT Cosmetics. Just want to focus it as close to the lash line as possible. And the bottom lashes. And then, for the lips, Tara Swift is wearing her signature red lip. For this, it's going to be almost like a off. It's, like a, it's almost like a slight bit orangey so I'm gonna be using my lip liner from Jordana Cosmetics and this is in the color Sedona red and then the okay and then the red I'm going to be using is the vivid matte liquid from Maybelline and this is in the color rebel red <laughs> And then finally to finish off my look and set everything, I'm going to be spraying my Mario Badescu Primer, the rose water toner that everybody uses as a primer and set things, right? Yeah. Ta-da! Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see some more celebrity inspired makeup tutorials, then please tell me which ones down below in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you like the celebrity inspired makeup tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to me and share this video if your favorite artist is Taylor Swift. Um, if she's not and you just like, like this look, then you should share it too. <laughs> but thank you guys again so much for watching. Is there a lipstick on my teeth? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, okay. Not today. Not today. <laughs>